everybody, welcome back. I'm Isaac with Elias and Whipco, and today I got a couple things for you. I got a redecoration of the shop. We're going to take all these whips from this side of the shop and move them over to the back wall. And then I'm also going to show you how I do this kind of display wall kind of thing and uh, um, what I use to get the whips to all hang up almost invisibly like this. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So after that, that back wall is completely barren, except for my clock. But I got all the whips on the workbench. Um, these ones were all listed on Etsy and still are if you're interested. Some cool ones in there. Um, and then these are more of my personal whips and collection like that. Um, so now we're going to take all those. Oh yeah, and then, sorry, I can move the camera around some, and then all the transcripts that I use. Just use these little clear guys uh, to put them up there and I'll show you how I put them up on the wall once we get that all laid out. So that'll be next is the link up. Uh, spoilers behind me, but we're gonna show you how these things work. So I'll grab the off the wall here. So what these are based off of are these. Damn, I guess. And it's just a, a little loop with an overhand knot in, and I try and tie tie it so as it goes around the whip with how I kind of naturally coil it, um, as it goes around the whip and it's just fed through. So you got the knot through the loop. Try and get it so that spot on top is as small as possible um, for, for most of them. The ones I keep up here longer, usually, they'll have more of a specific loop that I that I use for them. Um, but then to get the whip to balance, put it right back kind of by the uh, by the transition. And then the, that top bit of the loop just slides right over the hook like that. And that's, that's all there is to hang to how I do my display walls. But thanks for watching guys. Um, let's watch the, the whips go on the wall. Yeah. 